Greetings, Stars fans. Welcome to the Two Brothers Miked Up show. It is game 65 of the Dallas Stars season. They played Nashville, and it's safe to say that this is pretty much rock bottom. Uh, let's start off. As we do with every video, going back to the last video, so I always stick around. We give predictions. Quinn, you liked a score of three to two for Dallas and a four to two for uh, Nashville. Pretty close on that one. I liked a two-one score either way because it seemed like their games are starting to turn into low-scoring games, but apparently not. We had another three-goal period. As the Stars lose 5-3. to three. Goals of Craig Smith, Antoine Roussel in the first, Yarncroc, uh, Shea Weber, Eckholm, Spezza, James Neal, and Vernon Fiddler. Okay, so reading out those names, what stands out to you for those goal scorers? Nashville's top line and top players are producing. Dallas's top line and top players are not. Yeah, you don't see anything from Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, or Patrick Sharp. It's becoming it's becoming a very big trend, and it is now time to start being concerned about this team. You have to be worried about this team now. Uh, yesterday, someone was telling us that if the Stars don't go 8-2 and two in their next 10 games, they finish 7th in the conference. And right now, not looking like a bad prediction right there because I don't expect... I mean, you, you can't expect anything from this Dallas team. Goaltending uh, defense are just terrible right now. They are last in the league and almost every stat in the past like 15 games the offense is starting to dry up something that the lifeline of this team is carrying on and on and on about this and it's drying up you're only getting one or two goals from uh sagan and spezza spezza a little more of recently sagan had one the other day but it's players like uh Hemsky, yanmark Sevier, Fiddler, Nachushkin's starting to come around. Like, I mean, Nachushkin wasn't great yesterday. But going down the list, Jamie Benn, a minus three. Uh, we have Tyler Sagan, a minus four. Those, that is the concerning factor. But let's talk about a little bit of the good about yesterday. Discuss Russell's first game with the Dallas Stars. Well, it's like a whole lot of people have been <clears throat> raving about him that he he's a he's kind of like a little spitball spitball kind of player, you know. He's gonna play defense first, I think, for this team. He can jump into the into the slot and shoot and pat make good passes, but I think he's probably gonna embrace more of a defensive side to to this team. I mean, he showed grit. He played hard. I honestly think him and Jordy Ben were the best pair out there. Yeah, he uh, he plays 18 minutes. He's a minus one, but it's the James Neal goal that does that. But uh, obviously one of the better of the defense from last night. Uh, <sighs> Jordy or Jason Demers, Oduya. They need to be broken up. Uh, Klingberg, Goligoski. I think those two need to be broken up. Yeah, those those might need to be broken up. It's it's just an all around. Look, look everyone wants to kind of hang this all on our goaltending, and they are not out of the woods on this one. But defense is leaving these guys out to dry. No matter who's in net, they, the, the opposing team is having too many opportunities and too many chances on our goaltenders. There, there needs to be a 
big, big, big defensive shakeup with this with this team. Whether uh, Lindy Ruff takes over and says, "Look, whoever's doing this, it's not working," or if Lindy has more hands in the defensive side, someone needs to take it away from him. I mean, the coaching staff is is a big part of the blame on this one right now with the slump that they're going in. It's it's not fair to the fans because we get here and we have Nil telling us, no, 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 this is a good team. This is It is a good team. It's a good offensive team. The crap that you're trudging out there every night on the defensive end, don't try to sell me that it's good because it's not. And the addition of Russell is not going to change much of anything. Goaltending, uh, Niemi needs to go to the bench. I think Kari needs to be ridden for at least six games to see if he can just pull this team out of the mud the way it is. Um, it's just, it, it's very troubling. The alarms have to be going off. What did you think of the Jamie Benn fight towards the end of the game? Um, way too, way too late in the game to make any kind of impact. I get it. You fight, you want to get the frustrations out because your team blew it, basically. But all you're doing, Jamie, is taking the risk on hurting your hand, breaking a hand, you know, getting your, getting something hurt when you don't need to. If you're going to fight, it should have came a lot earlier in the third period or the second period for that. Yeah, I agree. The His his fight should have happened after that fourth goal. There would have been enough time in the second period for him to take five minutes off to send a message to wake this team up. And for him to get frustrated at the end of the game, it only speaks to... Jamie's a good captain, and he likes to speak with his actions a lot more. So hopefully that's a signal to the team that they need to wake the hell up. But what is he saying between the periods? What is he doing between the periods that's trying to wake this team up? I mean, his his leadership has to be called into question right now because of how good the team started off. We didn't think that it was going to, you know, stay at that pace all through the season, but the almost cliff dive that they're going through right now is inexcusable. And I know Jamie has spoken out recently about it being embarrassing and everything like that, but... You're not fixing anything. Yeah, you're not going out there and taking a game over like you used to. Like, before, it just seems like... Jamie might be under a ton of pressure, and right now they have nothing left to lose, so I don't know where this pressure is coming from. It's the fact that they got off too hot too early, and they they started to think that they could beat any team on any night on in any way, and then teams now are starting to show them that they can't do it. I also thought the fight at the end of the game was too little too late. It's, show me in the middle of the game that you're frustrated. Make that other team pay. Don't go out towards the end of the game with 17 seconds left thinking that's going to make an impact on the other team. All they're going to think of you as a little crybaby. Yeah, you got some hits in on uh, Gostad. Good. Whatever. I mean, you're going to be playing that team again. Hopefully that made an impact. But you need an impact now. The defense, the goaltending. If I see the same lineup with the defense, nothing shaken up, nothing, you know, no no juggling, no nothing, because it seems like Lindy Ruff will juggle the offense all he wants, but doesn't do anything to the defense. If I see Niemi come back out, after the Devils game, I don't think that's the right call. I didn't think it was a right call last night to let Niemi play on the back-to-back because 
Why do we have these two goaltenders if we're not going to let one rest on a back-to-back? -back? I would have understand if Niemi had a great game against Detroit, but he didn't. Let Kari come in. Let, let him try to build some kind of momentum. It's going to be a short one. This is pretty much just a rant on things that need to happen. Uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to touch in on this one? Uh, I mean, this team needs a complete overhaul. Offense, defense, goaltending, special teams, everything. I mean, power play, it works when it works. And when it doesn't, it, it looks like a bunch of mini mites on the ice trying to break into the zone. Penalty killing has gotten better, but we're, but we're still taking penalties at inopportune times and giving momentum to the other team. And just, we got to start. If, if you're not going to fix anything on the defense or goaltending side, we got to start scoring more goals. You got to, you can, you know, 40 shots in a game, you know, that's great. But when you have... Two two goals like that's pathetic. Forty shots on net, you should at least have three or four goals. No man, no matter what the goaltender is. Let's go into the ratings. Would you rate this one? D, huh? D just just because they they got some scoring in there. Mm. Uh, I went an F because they were down. They let in three more goals on a, on a period. Just because they, they tried to come back, they, they showed some kind of spirit, but it was already too little too late. Stars play the Devils Friday. What kind of predictions? And it's game 66. Kind of ominous. I don't know. What kind of predictions you got for that? I mean, New Jersey is one of the bottom tier teams right now. Well, they have the fifth best, best defense. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that's lacking for New Jersey right now is just scoring goals. I mean, that's the only thing that's really lacking for their team. They have good goaltending. They have good defense. Like, it's going to be a defensive game that's going to be played. And if we can't score, then I, I feel it's just going to be a repeat. Um, Stars have not played against New Jersey well. Um, we'll say Dallas... If they come on top, we'll say two to one, and if New Jersey does, it'll be five to two. Uh, Dallas wins. <clears throat> I'm gonna say it's three to nothing. There's a an epiphany that probably happens with our goaltending and defense. Maybe they have a player meeting. Maybe Jamie says something to inspire someone because no one else is doing anything. Uh, if they lose, four to two. So that's the little mini episode here. Be sure to subscribe, share, hit that like button, leave any feedback down below. Anything like that helps the channel grow. Remember, this is a show for fans, by fans, and as always, tune in next time.